Are you aware that sexual sterilization was not invented by National Socialism, but had been advanced for years before as a weapon in dealing with the mentally incompetent and the criminal? Yes, I am aware of that. Are you aware that it has advocates among leading citizens in many other countries? I am not an expert on such laws. Then permit me to read one to you. This is a High Court opinion upholding such laws in existence in another country. And I quote, We have seen more than once that a public welfare may call upon the best citizens for their lives. It would be strange, indeed, if it could not call upon those who already sap the strength of the state for these lesser sacrifices in order to prevent our being swamped by incompetence. It is better for all the world if, instead of waiting to execute degenerate offsprings for crime or to let them starve for their imbecility, society can prevent their propagation by medical means in the first place. Three generations of imbeciles are enough. You recognize it now, Dr. Beek? No, sir, I don't. Actually, there is no particular reason you should, since the opinion upholds the sterilization law in the state of Virginia, of the United States, and was written and delivered by that great American jurist, Supreme Court Justice Oliver Wendell Holmes. Now, Dr. Wick, in view of what you have just learned, can you still say that sexual sterilization was a novel national socialist measure? Yes, I can say it. Because it was never before used as a weapon against political opponents. Do you personally know of a case where someone was sterilized for political reasons? I know that such things were done. That's not the question. Please answer the question. Do you know of a case? I don't know of any specific case or specific date. I am asking you if you have any first-hand personal knowledge of such a case. No. I have no such personal knowledge. Thank you. Week. You are aware of the charges in the indictment against Ernst Janning. Yes, I. Can you honestly say he's responsible for them? Yes, I can. Do you? Consider yourself free of responsibility? Yes, I do. Dr. Wick? Did you ever swear to the civil servant loyalty oath of 1934? Your Honor, I object. The witness doesn't have to answer that question. He's not on trial. All Germany's on trial, Your Honor. This tribunal placed it on trial when he placed Ernst Janning on trial. If responsibility is to be found, the widest latitude is to be permitted. Objection overruled. Did you ever swear to the civil servant loyalty oath of 1934? Everyone did. We are not interested in what everyone did. We are interested in what you did. Would you read the oath from the Rice Law Gazette, March 1933? I swear that I shall be obedient to the leader of the German Reich and people, Adolf Hitler that I shall be loyal to him, that I will observe the laws, and that I will conscientiously fulfill my duties. So help me God. Everyone swore to it. It was mandatory. Yes. But you are such a perceptive man, Dr. Wick. You could see what was coming. You could see that National Socialism was leading Germany to disaster. It was clear to anyone who had eyes and ears. Didn't you realize what it would have meant if you, 
that men like you would have refused to swear to the oath, it would have meant that Hitler could never have come to absolute power. Why didn't you? Dr. Flick, why didn't you? Can you give us an explanation? Has it something to do with your pension? <laughs>